to school or we should say at home now. I hope everybody is adapting well. Um, I'm certainly um, adapting to a new life as well. And behind me, we have the Divine Mercy. And that is Jesus, and He wants to um, let His love come out. And you'll notice that there's the red and the white. And that's what happened when the soldier pierced his side, and blood and water came out. And it's a sign of God's love and mercy, and He just wants to pour His mercy on us. So we have Divine Mercy Sunday coming up. So anyways, I want to encourage everyone to really help out at home. So if you can help do the dishes, do them. If you can dry them, do them. If you can do the laundry, do it. Whatever you can help mom and dad, do it. Maybe it might be raking the leaves, it might be doing a little bit of gardening, cleaning up, dusting, whatever. This is a time to really help out mom and dad. And I want to share a little story with you. Um, we're going through some troubled times, but I want to share a story from the Bible, which I, I think all of you know. And it's a story of Joseph in the Old Testament. And you may have watched the movie, uh, The Coat of Many Colors, and Little Joseph. And so I'll just give you the background of the, of the um, story, where Joseph had 11 other brothers, and... Um, the brothers didn't like him, and so they started to pick on him, and, and then eventually they, they wanted to um, actually kill him. But they didn't kill him, they ended up selling him, and Joseph had to go to a faraway country. And so, it just imagine the, the, um, the, the trouble that he went through. Oh, he left his family, he had to learn a new language, he like taking French, he had to have new food, and so and then a different culture, and so everything was so different, and he was away from family. So all of this trouble. And in fact, Joseph, when he went down to Egypt, he had to go to jail. So on top of all that trouble. However, God used that trouble time so that when Joseph was in Egypt, he eventually made his way up to be like the, the second in command of all of Egypt, like the prime minister under Pharaoh. And he, if you remember, he interpreted the dream. One of the dreams was that the, there's these seven healthy cows, and after that came seven unhealthy cows, and the unhealthy cows ate up all of the healthy cows but the unhealthy cows were no better off. They were still unhealthy. And so Joseph said to Pharaoh, Pharaoh, your dream is telling you that you're going to have seven years of good crops followed by seven years of no crops. And the seven years of famine are going to gobble up all of the good stuff and you're going to be no better off. However, Joseph said to Pharaoh, Build big granaries, store up your grain. And so that's what Pharaoh did. So they had seven good years of crops, followed by seven years of famine. And so what happened is that the whole world was coming to Joseph to get food because he had stored up the food. And of course, his brothers had to come down to get food. And in the end, Joseph ended up being able to feed his family, to support his family in this time of trouble. And so even though people uh, can go through trouble times, sometimes God can use that for a better good. And so in the end, you know the story, where Joseph forgave his brothers, and he then said, hey brothers, bring down my dad, my family, come down to Egypt, we'll, we'll have the best place in Egypt and will keep you alive and good. And so I want to give you some hope during this time that even sometimes you go through trouble times, God can use that trouble time to bring out a greater good, just like he did to Joseph, how he saved, Joseph saved his family by sending him down to Egypt so that he could save his family. And so I want to give you hope and um, have a good Divine Mercy Sunday. 
And I also want you, to, one challenge is make sure that you read the Bible every day or get mom and dad to read a Bible story every night, okay? And then just talk about it with mom and dad or talk it with your family. So try to read one Bible passage a day, a story or a parable, and then talk with your family about it. So that's the Word of God talking to you, and you can share that with your family. So if you can do that every day, just a little story from the Bible, and then talk about it. And that becomes a beautiful prayer. God bless you. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.